One of the biggest differences between the Roborock S7 Max V and Echovacs X1 Omni involves small obstacle detection and avoidance. The S7 Max V was able to detect and avoid all five obstacles we used to test this functionality. The X1 Omni was not able to consistently detect and avoid any of the five obstacles. Another difference between these two models involves general navigation around larger obstacles. Both the S7 Max V and X1 Omni use a top-mounted laser for general navigation, but the S7 Max V does navigate slightly more precisely and slightly more efficiently, at least in the cluttered environment we use for this test. The S7 Max V also pathed without issue in our pickup tests, while the X1 Omni did not. It would consistently bounce against this bottom edge of our test station near the end of its second cleaning cycle in our carpet and hard floor stress tests. The S7 Max V did not exhibit this behavior during any of its cleaning cycles. Moving on to mopping, both robots of course have mopping attachments. The S7 Max V has one mop that vibrates, the X1 Omni has two mops that rotate. In our mopping tests, both robots performed similarly. In our dried on stain test, both robots were able to clean the test station in one similarly long cleaning cycle. In our sticky stain test, both robots did not get a proper cleaning in one cleaning cycle, though after one cleaning cycle, the S7 Max V only left behind some light streaks, while the X1 Omni left behind considerably more residue on the surface. This difference in performance though can mostly be attributed to differences in pathing. The S7 Max V simply pathed over the stains with greater frequency during one cleaning cycle. The X1 Omni pathed over the stains with less frequency. Once the X1 Omni pathed over the stains an equal number of times, it cleaned them just as well. It just took the X1 two cleaning cycles instead of one to do so. When it comes to mopping functionality, the S7 Max V does feature better reservoir design. It uses an onboard reservoir that can be removed and be emptied easily for long-term storage. The X1 Omni's onboard reservoir cannot be removed. The only way to empty it for long-term storage is to run the robot until it uses up all the water in the reservoir. The S7 Max V's reservoir is also much larger, with a volume of 200 milliliters. The X1 Omni's onboard reservoir has a volume of only 80 milliliters. Both the S7 Max V Ultra and X1 Omni come with docking stations that automatically refill their reservoirs, clean their mopping pads, and empty their dustbins. You still have to occasionally refill a much larger reservoir that fits into the dock, but the robot's onboard reservoir is refilled automatically by the docking station. These larger reservoirs are a similar size for both docking stations. And mop cleaning and dustbin emptying performance is also similar for both docking stations. The only real difference between these two docks involves mop drying. The Roborock Ultra Dock does not come equipped with a dryer. You have to buy and install a dryer module separately at an additional cost. The Echovacs OmniDock comes pre-installed with the dryer at no extra cost. Moving on to vacuuming, both robots picked up most types of surface level debris without issue, though the X1 Omni did struggle a bit with larger debris on hard floors. Look at how it leaves behind several Cheerios after turning away from this edge. The S7 Max V did not exhibit this behavior. It was able to pick up larger debris without issue. Both robots picked up longer hair without issue. Though most of the hair they picked up tangled around their brush rolls, this happened to a similar extent with both robots. The S7 Max V did do better picking up shorter tufts of hair on hard floors. With obstacle detection and avoidance turned on, it had no trouble in our pet hair pickup test. The X1 Omni often hesitated and changed its path, at first mistaking certain tufts as obstacles to avoid. With the setting turned off, it performed much better though it still didn't pick up the pet hair as well as the S7 Max V. Neither robot had any trouble picking up edge debris. They both passed sufficiently close to the edge to allow their side brushes to properly pull debris away from the edge. Wrapping things up, the X1 Omni does have more airflow and suction according to our testing, and so it's not surprising that it performed better in our carpet deep cleaning test. Both robots are large, though the X1 Omni is slightly taller. Both robots have the same capacity battery, though the X1 Omni is less power hungry on its lowest setting and so has a longer maximum battery life. Both robots have relatively low noise output on default power and relatively high noise output on maximum power. In terms of general recommendations, we strongly recommend the S7 Max V over the X1 Omni. 
it navigates better, and its small obstacle detection and avoidance actually works, while the X1 Omnis does not. It also picks up certain types of surface level debris, specifically larger debris and shorter tufts of hair, much better than the X1 Omni. The X1 Omni does have more airflow and suction, according to our testing, deep cleans carpet better than the S7 Max V, and has a few other advantages as well. The problem is that its disadvantages are deal breakers. Its poor obstacle detection and avoidance is unacceptable. Its padding issues in our pickup testing are also a huge red flag. And its very small non-removable onboard reservoir is also a major negative as it greatly limits the robot's area of mopping coverage before it needs to return to its dock to be refilled. The S7 Max V doesn't have these types of deal breakers. So between these two options, we pick the S7 Max V. See the description of this video for buy links for these robots and for the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.